It's an honor to be here. Thanks for the invitation, Jan. My first time at Eco Summit, and it's been very inspirational to, to listen and see what everybody's doing into contributing to a better future, because in my opinion, we've got a, a long way to go, and we can really use all the help we can get, especially if we, if we look at real estate. Uh, because construction is, is continuing on a steady pace, and this urbanization in towards the built environment is, is so far really inducing more and more pollution in a built environment. And then on top of that, within the construction industry, we see a trend into using more and more glass as a building material. And traditionally, glass is a very energy inefficient material, if you think of greenhouses, for instance. And the problem so far is, in our opinion, that traditional solar is very difficult to integrate into all this. And we therefore see a huge demand into more intelligent and energy-positive building materials, preferably transparent. And that's, that's where we really want to make an impact and want to contribute to this better future, because we believe that if you develop sustainable innovations without compromise, and to us that means that the innovation itself should not compromise on functionality, design and cost, all three, that with these innovations, we can really help accelerate this energy transition we are aiming for. And, and from this belief, we developed our first power windows. A power window is a patented and transparent window that converts light into electricity. And these power windows have been able to help buildings become more energy efficient that had been unsuitable for traditional solar panels due to their geometric structure or their glass-to-surface ratio. And, and from this interaction with the market, we developed our second product, which we will launch next year, which is our smart window. And we've noticed that since we are producing electricity in the building facade, we can add an intelligent factor to that as to make your building or the, the facade of your building become sort of like the skin for humans, so it can become the nervous system of your building by not only producing electricity, but also sensing inside and outside air quality, temperature, but also the light intensity. And it can communicate all these data with your building maintenance systems, but maybe also locally to your solar blinds or your air ventilation shafts inside the windows. And we have been putting this theory, this vision, and this development into practice. So. Last year, we sold the first 10 power windows to the Rabobank in Eindhoven, together with OVG, it's a large Dutch real estate developer. And actually, as we speak, we are now installing our second project. It's kind of hidden behind the bamboo, but it's located here in the financial district of Amsterdam, the Zuidas. We are installing the south facade of the new headquarters of the postcode lottery. And um, later this year, we are launching our ambassador group to really help spread the word of this technology. And this really results in future traction. And I won't go into detail about the entire backlog of tendering processes because it's a very uncertain, risky business. But the one thing I wanted to point out is uh, something we are very proud of, is that we two weeks ago signed a contract, so that's really a done deal together with Form Vastgoed, to help them develop the, the Form Overhooks Kavel 5, which is going to be a huge residential housing uh, building where we will install 1,800 square meter of power windows. And here we really see that a building that tall with such limited roof surfaces would have been unable to become as energy efficient uh, that we can help them achieve with our power windows. And I keep on saying we, and that's because I couldn't be more proud of the, the management team we have been uh, assembling. Um, and together, we really feel that we are ready for the next step. We have a, a huge backlog that we are now anxiously wanting to catch up on, so we are really looking for the next phase of our company. And therefore, we are also raising our Series A. So we're in touch with a lot of more family offices and early stage VC funds. But I'm more than honored to uh, meet all of you uh, during lunch or coffee to see if there's room for us to work together to together build this future 
that we feel our new generation deserves. Looking forward to meeting you all. Thank you very much. That was it. Thank you, Willem. How much are you looking for in your Series A? Uh, we're looking to raise five million. It could be a debt to, yeah, it doesn't matter how, but we need five, five million. million in the next two, two and a half years. To, okay, to get cool. Up to, uh, I think there is five million in the room. Go and get it. Thank you very much. <laughs>